What's up guys, ClutchFang37 here, and as you can read from the title, the Cascade R and Warrior Regulator are no longer legal to use. Uh, if you don't believe me, I will post the link to the actual website down below. It's through laxmagazine.com, so it's obviously a credible source, but uh, it states that Monday, as in today, NASCA or the National Operating Committee on Standards for Athletic Equipment, announced that two helmets in the marketplace, the Cascade R and the Warrior Regulator, do not comply with NASCA standards after independent investigations. Um, you can read through the whole thing. It kind of says, you know, um, they kind of went undercover, bought them through retail stores, and tested them after seeing STX's website and STX claiming that um, those helmets, in fact, don't pass the standard test, and theirs does. So they investigated, and as of this morning, claimed that it is, in fact, true, and the uh, Cascade R and Warrior Regulator are not safe to use. So with that being said, I'm really curious as to see what Cascade's going to say about this, what they're going to do. Warrior, I can really care less about. I don't think many people, um, unless your team uses them, use the Warrior Regulator helmet, but I could be wrong. So basically, um, most D1 teams use a Cascade R. Um, all the other ones use a Warrior Regulator helmet. I think some of the SDX schools are using the 7500 now, but for those schools who use those helmets, I'm curious as to, what see, or curious as to see what's going to happen because... Uh, they get most of their custom team helmets in December, which is uh, next month. And if they already ordered them through Cascade and they're just waiting on them, I really want to know what's going to happen. Um, I also want to see if Cascade is going to recall every single Cascade R out there. And um, I don't know. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen. So I'll post a link to it down below. Fun story about that was when STX first came out with the Stallion 500 helmet, if you went on their website, they had a huge, huge in-depth article on... Um, all the test results they got from testing the uh, NASCA standard rules with the Stallion 500 helmet, the Cascade R, Warrior Regulator, and some other Cascade helmets. And everyone was bashing STX saying that they were lying because they claimed that zero Cascade R's passed the test as to where every single one of the Stallion 500 helmets did. And I kept my mouth shut because honestly I don't know enough about the testing um, to really kind of give an opinion on. I kind of thought that they were making it up, but at the same time I had no idea. And I also believed them. So... All you guys who claim STX were lying, uh, here you go. So let me know what you guys' opinions are down below. Um, as I learn more, I'll do videos on it, but I figured to do this video real fast to kind of uh, shed some light because I don't know how fast people are going to learn about this. So Huge bummer. Cascade R, I mean, it's, it's my favorite helmet I've ever had, and now I can't use it. Um, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen for spring season, springtime for everyone. So, yeah, that's a huge bummer.